What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Mr. Warmack, as you heard earlier, I'm in the building. So, we gonna, it's a fine, beautiful day today. I like to, again, I say Happy New Year to everybody, but hold on, here's this dude. Come on, man, this is good luck, Jonathan, because of Nigeria, so we're going to give him a shout out. They're talking about something, and it's, uh, it deals with this right here, as far as your rights. We're going to deal with this, we're going to deal with people comparing the situation in Oregon to the other protests, you know, the Black Lives Matter, the, you know, so forth and so on. I can I see what they're saying about how they're, they're comparing and contrasting it. If you look at it, they're not setting anything on. They're they're comparing it to well, they're not they're not setting anything on fire. As far as you look at the organ, they're all in a peaceful protest. Basically, they're all in the protest that black people used to do. They're not being defined or anything. They're organizing. They're having a they're organizing a peaceful protest. But if you look at all the other stuff, like the bullying, like Black Lives Matter, and the, you know, and the destruction of your own neighborhoods, like in Baltimore, you can see what people can say you're the domestic terrorist. You don't want to do that. If you're going to rally, you can rally. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what the, the Constitution gives you your rights. But, there's a way you go about it. You don't go about it by destroying your neighborhood. Remember in the 60s they had peaceful settings? Well, they do, they, it wants what they do sometimes too. It depends on the, what the situation is. But as far as people getting mad, it has to be better organization. Like Black Lives Matter, let's face it, you don't care. Black Lives Matter does not care. They do, the organization as a whole does not care. It's just a slow, you don't know why? So they care about black lives. You'd be going to Detroit, you'd be going to Brooklyn, you would go to Chicago, you'd be going to Phoenix, you'd be going to Los Angeles, you'd be going to New Orleans, you'd be going to Memphis, you'd go to Philadelphia, you'd be going to Trenton, you'd be going to Camden, you'd be going to you know, Pittsburgh, you'd be going to Columbus, Cleveland, Cincinnati, you'd go to all these cities that have a lot of black people in them and have a high murder slash shooting rate. But you don't do that. You, you go off of what what an officer, which is wrong, by the way. Let me put that out there. Uh, you know, an officer shooting the unarmed children. And if some of y'all ain't don't want to don't want to learn from that, these cops ain't playing with you guys. My old mayor, the, mayor, the, well, the previous mayor in this city, he gave the cops to, he gave the cops the green light. He told them that, you know, hey, you know, we got these young kids that are shooting and willing to, willing to do this, that, and the third. So the mayor gave them the green light, you know, they shoot, shoot back. And that's what they're going. But as far as all these protests, what are, what are you accomplishing? That's like these people on Facebook. They think because you make a post on Facebook, that's supposed to catapult you into the limelight and do something. Here's the problem I see, and I, and I, I love when people call me out. Because people who know me know I'm in, I, I've been in the streets talking to people, I'm trying to help, I got videos, I do this, do that. I like Facebook, because people will try to call me out, I'm like, X, Y, Z, here's what I've done. What have you done? Then they want to change the subject, you know why? Most people on Facebook say things just to get likes, that's it. But they haven't done anything. Like, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to something. I, I'm still talking about this, because it's still on the line, like, it's still being... Decide, well, not decide, just cases in the Supreme Court about you know, equal, I mean, uh, equal right voting act. I keep telling people, what are, what are you doing? And like I said, and like I said, well, you didn't care about, you cared more, more about gay rights than your own right to vote. I said, now a lot of you are crying, well, I didn't know this, and the third, well, that's your own ignorance. You can't blame the government. The government's supposed to, the government doesn't want to tell you everything. Maybe you should learn that by now. We like, well, I didn't know. Well, who's fault's that? You, you, if you're not, if, if, if you're too worried about getting two likes on Facebook, 
to learn that you're losing your rights elsewhere, then you're the idiot and you're the dummy. That's your, that's your fault. You deserve that. You deserve to be in a FEMA tent. You deserve to be thrown away from society. If you don't care about your own life or the life of your kids like that, the government is cracking on every and anything right now. They don't want any dissension. The fact of the matter is, I told people, look, I care about my voting right. I don't want, and, then, and, like, and people get mad at me, well, what about the homosexuals? There cannot be, if you don't understand this, then you're, you're, you're stupid. You cannot have two agendas. It never works. And that's what people said, well, well they're black like ain't just one because if you look what the black homosexuals have supported, the black homosexuals have supported the gay agenda. That's what they have supported. This is this is history talking, and this is facts, this is research, this is all at bowling in one. You cannot have two agendas. If the homosexual agenda is for their rights, then God bless them if they get them. That's it, that's their business. I, I'm not concerned with their rights right now. I'm concerned with a specific goal in hand. And like I said, you can like we, we can talk, we can discuss, and come to a mutual understanding. But you can, there's never been a place in history where a group or organization or people who have come together have fought on two agendas. Well, I mean, there, there's a little difference if you're in the military. You can fight on two. You can fight on two um, playing fields. You can fight on two events. You, you can fight in two different theaters. That's the military. That's it. But the military, in that case, is. They're stabilized, they're organized, they're organized, they're, they're it's competent. None of this is what you find that comes off of Facebook. Like, I see only 15% of people that talk about this stuff are really competent in what they know and what they're talking about. Because I start getting into it, I get mad because I'm like, I'm sick of these people that are just talking about it. And I'm out here doing it and they're making, they're ruining it for me because they're turning my work backwards because they're ignorant about it and they don't want to learn. And then when it hits the fan, they're mad and nobody helped them. Well, you know, God doesn't help those who help themselves. You have to help yourself first. And then people say, well, God should help themselves, plural. No, God does not say that. If you, if you want to sit around and wait for your hand out, and you end up in a FEMA tent, whose fault is that? It's not my fault. It's your fault because you don't want to do anything. It's your fault because you want to be a victim all day. It's your fault because you're sitting around for hitting the jackpot. It's your fault because you're hitting around Mega Millions. It's your fault because you want to hit the lotto. Instead of getting off your lazy ass and, and do something with your, about your life, but no, you want to cry while you're a victim all day, and then you want to empower yourself? Get out of here. Go, go drink some Clorox, please. Well, on that note, looks like I'm out of here. And uh, I want you guys to have a safe one. Have a good 2006, all right, people? Peace.